I've taken probably several thousand NP swabs from anywhere from little babies up to adults, so I fairly much intuitively know where to go. But uh, if you haven't done many NP swabs or are a little uncomfortable with it, I'm going to show you a quick, easy technique to help ensure that you're going the right depth and getting an adequate sample. What you would do is take this little disposable ruler supplied by Copan. You're going to put it at the child's earlobe and measure from there to the base of the nose. So on Mr. Rowling here, that is right at 7 centimeters right there. And we will take that, open our swab package. Bob the elder. Yes. Yeah, Bob you see, the oh, you see Bob the Builder over there. You're going to then take the swab, lay it at the 7 centimeter mark, and mark it at 3.5. So half the distance. In this case, three and a half. So you can see with our last patient, we went all the way up to the base to where this widening is on the NP swab. In this case, we're going about a centimeter and a half less because of the smaller size of the head. No. So in having the parent or uh, guardian hold the child for this procedure, it's very important the age of the kid matters a lot because the babies are very easy to hold. As they get a little bigger, they certainly start to wiggle more, and as they get a little bigger than rolling, they start to kick. Uh, so you want to protect not only the patient but yourself when you're getting a sample. So what I do is have the patient lay back against the person who's helping, just rest their head back like that. Rowling, you can open your eyes. <laughs> hey, buddy. Playing He's playing silly. And then I have the parent or guardian hold their hands and then put their other hand on the forehead. Then I cup their chin. And now again, you can see the depth of the nasal swab. Again, I don't take, you can kind of push the nose up to help get the swab in. I usually don't do that because what I do is I go in just a little and then turn horizontal. <coughs> Look at you, big boy. That's the real thing. Big boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can see he got upset for about two seconds. As soon as we got our nice sample, you can see there is some great mucus on that swab. Thank you, Rowling. You're going to take the media. You can either take this straight to your point of care test or, again, you'll take their swab. I often mix it just a little before I break it off. And again, this red-pink line is where you're going to snap it. Goes right to the top, snaps off, and then you recap. And you're ready to send it off for testing. Mama didn't just sit up there like she's the patient. Okay, excellent, thank you. What's the baby's name? Who's your baby? Maite. Maite. Okay, so it's all the way up here. Perfect. Yes. Okay. This is little Maite. She is 10 months old and she's here today with fever of 104 and having some flu-like symptoms. We're going to get a quick uh, NP swab on her so that we can test her for flu during her visit today. Sometimes with the younger babies, we have to have a little extra holding help. We're going to have the mom in this case hold, and I've got a second person here who's helping to hold the head steady. is in the case with this last little infant when they're fairly mobile, which the young toddler age is, you will get a little bit of blood on the swab just from the friability of the nasal mucosa. If you see a little bit of streaky blood like this, it's not a problem. It's not causing a major nosebleed. You just tell the parent, you know, that this is fairly common 
and happens frequently with just a little bit of movement of the child. No problem. There's nothing really to even take care of after the procedure. You won't even see bleeding from the nares. This is my friend Yadira. Can you give me five? All right, give me a high five. She is six years old. She's here today because you have fever and some coughing and you just don't feel good, right? Okay. Well, we're going to get a little quick swab from Yadira. We're going to test you for flu, okay? And she's going to let us show you guys how to do this the best. Okay, we've got our little measuring stick here, right, Yadira? Okay, we're going to put it here from the base of her nose back to her earlobe. You can see that she is right at four inches. So on our swab, we're going to look at two inches to be the depth of insertion. So we take our little quick swab, take your quick sharpening marker. You can see that we have this. You did it. Am I looking right? Two inches? Two inches. We're going to put a little mark right there. So we have our little swab measured, and she's already felt this, and it's fuzzy, isn't it? It's kind of just silly, tickly feeling. So she knows that she's going to hold real still for me. You can notice that I t tend to hold and just kind of just gently support the child's chin so that they don't move a lot when you're doing the swab. Now she's going to feel just a little bit of tickly. You feel tickly right there, Yadira? Okay, so it's going to tickle, tickle, tickle. Okay, she says that's it. That was it. All done. Can you give me five now? When you are getting ready to do a swab, it's often easy and nice if you take a measurement so that you can see the correct length to go. What you would do is use a disposable ruler, which is provided by Copan, to measure from the base of the nose to the earlobe. In this case, you can see this young man has approximately four inches. What you would do is mark the length, total length from the earlobe from the base of the nose and then use half that distance to mark your swab. Use a pen such as a sharpie to mark the distance which you're going to use on inserting the swab. And then you have the exact distance to use. We now have our marked swab with our mark right here. That's the length of insertion for the NP swab that we're using on this young man based on his measurements. You gently go in, notice that we're staying horizontal to the base of his nose. He says this is tickling because I see him laughing. And you can see that it's gently going in. It tickles a little bit, doesn't it, Edgar? Okay. Okay, this is Stephen. And he's not feeling too well today. We're going to get a nasopharyngeal swab sample and test him for flu. Now, as you've noticed, when we do NP swabs, we need to measure from the earlobe to the skin at the base of the nose. In this case, that's just under four inches. So we would take our swab and go about half of that distance. So we're only going to go in a little less than two inches on Stephen. Now you can take a marker such as a Sharpie and mark the depth of insertion on your swab so that you know exactly how far to go. Okay, now Stephen, this is going to feel a little funny going into your nose. It helps if you take the child's head and kind of tilt it back at a little bit of an angle. It helps you get the right horizontal line. You can see that the swab goes in just over the skin of the nose. And then as it goes in slowly, you can see they were going just to the depth of insertion. And then you rotate it back and forth a couple of times and pull it out and have a nice mucusy sample. Stephen, I'm sorry you feel so poorly, but this will help us tell what's wrong with you, okay? 
after you take this swab out, you can use it at the point of care or you can put it into a tube of uh, universal transport media. Take it, mix it just a little bit. You can see this nice red line, which is your break point. You put it in the tube and snap it right off. Recap it and it's ready to go off to the lab.